Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2176, Pivot Chart Hierarchy. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. I was uh, doing a seminar in Terra. I uh, had a cool chart that had uh, two fields along the x-axis, along the bottom. So it was a stacked column chart with different regions, uh, but then along the x-axis you have both a year and a date. And these, at least for me, are easiest to create with a pivot chart. All right, so we choose our data here. So insert pivot table, uh, let it go to a new worksheet like that. And then the two fields that you want to have along the x axis, we're going to take those uh, to the rows area. And uh, that behavior they just saw right there, where they took the daily dates and rolled them up, uh, is new in Excel 2016. And I press Control Z to undo that. All right, so here in most versions of Excel, when you uh, drag the date field over there, you'll just have daily dates. And then we're going to use group field to group that up to months and years like that. All right, so now we have two fields in our rows area. And then uh, let's use uh, product in the columns and then revenue or profit in the heart of the pivot table. All right, so now from this pivot table, uh, when we create a pivot chart, uh, we'll choose a column chart and a stacked column chart like this. Click OK. And now what we have is along the bottom, we have both years and months in kind of this format. And what's cool is the pivot chart will react to slicers as well. So if we would uh, insert a slicer here uh, for maybe sector, click OK. All right, so now we can very quickly, if we would choose healthcare, we see the numbers for healthcare or financial or communications, right? So the chart will update uh, based on what's in the slicer. All right, and I've seen these a lot uh, with dates and Terra actually had two different charts, uh, one uh, with dates and months and then another one with uh, it looks like two or three fields down there, both uh, uh, you know like two different things and they weren't necessarily uh, date fields. So let's, uh, let's, we have products already there, uh, let's take sector and region. So we'll put region first, so we have east, central and west and then within region uh, we'll show the data by sector uh, like that. And when we choose all sectors, uh, we get this report with East and then all of the things within uh, East, all right? And so depending on the order here controls what's going to be the outer field. If I would reverse this, uh, then within each sector we're going to have the various regions, all right? So it's uh, just a little, a little backwards. And also if you have the chart selected, what used to be called the rows area is now axis. And what used to be called the columns area is now uh, legend or series. A bit confusing, but in general, uh, with a pivot table, uh, creating a pivot chart, this is an easy way to go. All right, well, my book, Power Excel with Mr. Excel, the 2017 edition, has a lot of topics on pivot tables. Uh, click that eye in the right hand corner to check that out. Uh, quick recap today Tara trying to create a chart with two fields along the x axis. Uh, so I create a pivot table with two fields in the rows area and then make it into a pivot chart. Well, I want to thank Tara for being in my seminar and, and uh, for that question and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.